I think all people are better vaccinated than not vaccinated. Um, they may have their own reasons for not getting vaccinated, and I certainly respect that, but you're, you're better off being vaccinated than not being vaccinated. And we're going to do everything we can to encourage student athletes and coaches and people close to them to, to be vaccinated. Is yeah. there a stronger message now than there might have been a year ago when there was still a lot of unknowns? Well, but, you know, we didn't have we didn't have the question of vaccination that last year because we didn't know when we would get it, and, and it was about testing. And then, you know, that we have a little bit of an advantage in the athletic environment in that we, um, if you if you're not vaccinated, we have the prerogative to test, and and that that you know is a middle ground that that we'll certainly access. But um, you know, it's you're better you're better off to be vaccinated than not vaccinated. Is there, is, there, is there a tracking number? Is there a tracking number? Like that's the big thing with the leagues is 75% vaccinated, 80%. Are y'all doing that with the teams? Uh, with what leagues? With pro, the pro, pro leagues. The pro leagues yeah. are saying you got to get to a certain percentage of the yeah, team. Well, are y'all doing that? Y'all's I mean, level? there it's, depends on which day you look in the paper as to what the percentage needs to be and who, who needs to be part of it. But I, the more people vaccinated, the better. I guess is the Big Twelve tracking, for example. The schools are tracking. We don't. We don't track in Central. Oh uh, no, but are you getting those reports? I guess. Are you aware of where? It, not. Be? Not anything other than anecdotally. Okay. Know, so right now, there's no level of X school gets to X percent vaccination. You no longer have to test. No. No. Any anybody that's not vaccinated is going to be tested. Are all ten schools looking at full capacity for football right now? I don't know that, Kirk. Okay. Uh, it may, perhaps from a wishful thinking standpoint, right. uh, I haven't heard anybody that said we're definitely going to be below capacity. I, I think I think everybody's um, hopeful that they'll get to full capacity and anticipating getting to full capacity. By the start of September. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Bob, I know you and Mr. Stewart have been working hard on this COVID thing, and you see what happened with North Carolina State baseball in Omaha. Uh, what were the conversations like in your office and among the ADs as well? No, so that's the example. It, yeah, no, it was a wake-up call. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, um, it's a, a really good example of how you can get off the rails in a heck of a hurry if you're not vigilant. And so it goes back to the self-discipline being the coin of the realm. Right? You know, you, you're, you're going to have to you're going to have to be self-disciplined. And you're going to have to you know, you know if you're not vaccinated, you're going to have to be testing so that you know uh, as soon as you possibly can and you, and you can keep track of trend lines. You mentioned the history of cable households in the past realignment expansion. And with that going away, are there things you're looking at? Obviously, there's different streaming options available, but is there a key one or two factors that might be the driver in the next rounds? Well, I, you know, I, I think it doesn't matter what package you look at, whether you look at the huge package the NFL just did or some of the some of the smaller streaming only they all have major streaming components to them and we got involved with ESPN plus uh, three years ago uh, we believed that it was the wave of the future and I continue to believe that and I think the decline in the in linear cable and, and the increase in, in uh, streaming is is documented that, and so we feel we feel good about where we are right now. But you know, ESPN and, and Disney leadership have made the, the comment that they're going to be entirely streaming based um, in the not too distant future. I mean, that that is that is an extraordinary comment, and uh, for uh, you know uh, one of the, the biggest linear cable operations ever to make that migration, it's significant. Feel like you guys were ahead of the curve a little bit on yeah, the yeah, I do. I, I feel good about it. It's uh, you know we're up to about 15 million households, and uh, they just raised the price on it. You know, it's a. I think I, everybody's still finding their way in the in the, the digital environment, but yeah, I, I feel like we.